Hello, beautiful people. Hello from Bali. And today we're going to talk about dengue fever. One of my mates, he is in a hospital. So he has been a victim of dengue. Um, we're gonna go and see how it is in an Indonesian hospital. We're gonna talk about dengue fever and before that, I'm gonna go to Bali Buddha to see if I can get some papaya leaf juice because apparently that's um, the cure for dengue fever. Dengue fever is very dangerous, but more, more about that later. So, let's go! So, here we are already at Bali Buddha. Here you can basically get everything healthy for a super overcharged price. Let's see if they have some high leaf juice. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm looking for papaya juice leaf for against dengue fever. You have? Nice. Let's go and see. Tomorrow, not today. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Do you know any other place where I can get it today? No, I think it will be the same. Let me check. No, same with all the Bali Buddha, you would have to order it and make fine if I'm going to make it for you. Okay. Um, okay. Is it for a friend? Or oh yeah, he's in hospital right now, but I won't because be here tomorrow. There are a few other things you can take. Yeah. <clears throat> this is the brass angak is also good. You boil it and you take it. This, um, he or she got already low thrombocytes. Or... Uh, I don't know. No, okay. This is to increase the thrombocytes. Okay. You can also um, increase the you know the effect of the immune system. Some biloto. Also very specific for the type 2 dengue fever. So this is also good stuff. So I would take maybe these two and then have the fresh papaya leaf as well. Okay. Um, how do you... You have to boil it. You have to boil this? Yeah. And just drink as much as you can because it's really probably difficult for them to drink it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, so. hey, hey, so basically what's happening now is um, they didn't have fresh papaya leaf juice because it has to be fresh. I ordered it for tomorrow, two portions, which lasts just on two days. They're going to go take it down to the hospital and what I've bought now is Beras and Gak. This stuff, it's uh, basically tea, you need to boil it and drink it. Um, it's not the best taste in the world, the most delicious taste in the world, but it would help him to get over the dengue. So that's the best we can do for now. I'm waiting for the order to go through, have a cup of coffee and then we're gonna go to see him. So this is what's happening when I um, come home now the music stopped hello <laughs> well usually there's like Despacito on full blast in this house lucky uh, it's not me anymore because I've got a new Despacito friend plays this um, on blast 24 7 but anyways we've got the tea let's go and see Tristan So this is my 
my um, Dutchy friend Mike. He lives in our house. And he is creating online courses. Right? Yeah, I yeah. am. I'm trying to at least. And I will be like. Uh, how do you say that? A global known entrepreneur within now and four years. That is my goal. Within now and a year, I can employ my own mother because she needs it. That's my goal for the first year. Very nice. Second year, to have at least different businesses, not all, our, all online courses, but at least the main goal is online course. And what will be the online course about? About event management and marketing. Woo! So if you need Especially to. Especially focus on small uh, and medium businesses. Great! Watch me. <laughs> it's going to rain soon, so we better hurry up and bring the tea to friend Tristan. So, here we are at Zillow Hospital. Fifty, fifty-four is what we're looking for. I think it was. Fifty-four. No. Damn. 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 Okay. Oh. 5054? 5054, you want to visit? Yes. Uh, I'm afraid this is not visit time. Okay, you can. So basically, um, I made it not in business time, so I have to wait 35 minutes to be able to see my friend. Yes. Exciting. So I sat there for about two minutes and then I, I get up and ask the other doctor if I can visit my friend and she's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Looking at the papers, so I tell her the room number and um, yeah, just go in. Clearly, as always, nobody has an idea what the other person is doing here. That's okay, we're here. Ja, darf ich reinkommen? Ja. Auf Englisch oder auf Deutsch? Auf oh, Englisch, please. So we're getting some more water. Thank you. Well, how is the food? Not so good. Not so good? Uh, Nasi goreng. For breakfast, they deserve on the uh, on the for breakfast they brought on the first day migoreng. Yeah. Fried noodles. Yeah. When you have no appetite, <laughs> this is really difficult to um, to start eating again. Yeah. And yeah, but everything else is fine here. So, me going every day for breakfast? No, then they changed. Um, I told them for the next day to bring Western food. And then they brought some bread with marmalade yeah. and a boiled egg. Mm -hmm. That's very German. <laughs> yes. But it's like uh, the food in the German hospitals. Yeah, it looks very clean and very... It looks like the hospital in my village. This is how it looks like. Yeah. The, no, no. the nurses are really nice. They smile a lot. <laughs> um, so I think they are a little bit more open-hearted than the German nurses. Because the German nurses, they are usually like... <laughs> <laughs> and they are more soft and gentle here. 
Okay. Yeah. Great. What's for lunch? For lunch, today I had chicken with pasta and carrots. Mm-hmm. Was the best. It was the best lunch? Yeah, so far. The best meal so far. And dinner? Not yet here. On the last days? Like what uh, you can? Always some kind of Indonesian style food. Always rice with vegetables. Yeah, but everything always with um, in folie eingepackt. Plastic. Yeah, in plastic. So very clean and very um, exactly. I think they weight the amount of calories that I have to. Oh. Yeah, I see, I see. It looks very, very disciplined. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Tell us about your dengue. How did you notice you have dengue fever? And what is dengue fever? Dengue fever is a virus infection that you get from mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah. And it comes very fast so that when it bites you um, the mosquito can bite you and it can take up to four weeks till the, till the infection breaks out. But when it breaks out, it goes very fast that you're coming into a uh, suffering mood. Mm. And yeah, and then I don't know the word in English for fever, fever cramps. 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 Fever cramps. And um, yeah, you're, you get a strong headache and um, bone problems, bone pain. Did you have bone pain too? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And um, yeah. And for me, the most challenging was the mental blockages in my head. I never had this in my life. That I was not, that I was sitting there and thinking, oh, I cannot walk or I cannot do anything right now. And when you're, um, and this, how can I say, this makes a lot of fear in this moment when you're um, alone or when you're not able to help yourself on your own. So this happened when you were at home or at Dojo's? Uh, when I was at home. So when I was at Dojo, it was still um, going up, but not so bad. So I still could um, bring myself home and um, run, brought myself to the apotheque and everything. Pharmacy, yeah. Pharmacy, and um, but when I, as soon as I was at home and could take the rest, um, so then. Yeah, then it all broke out completely. Okay. Yeah. And then what? You called a taxi? No, the first night I was at home. I just tried to lay down and eat medicine. What sort of medicine did you? Uh, paracetamol. Okay. Yeah. And some medicine for the cough. Yeah. Yeah. And then in the next morning? Yeah, the next morning I decided to go to the hospital. To the other one? Yeah. What's the name of it? Bali Med. Bali Med. Tell us about Bali Med. Bali Med. I don't want to talk trash because at one point it's a local hospital, so it was more for the locals. Mm. Um, I knew this hospital is way more expensive, so I thought I want to give this first a try. Um, but these doctors there, 
they checked, they found out that I have dengue fever, they took blood and they sent me from this station to that station and because I was walking, I tried to walk normal, I didn't hide, I, I was I was not standing there and, oh, please help me, I'm dying. I was, <laughs> I was normal. I tried to stay normal, but they didn't understand how um, intense my suffering really is because I was looking still. You weren't freaking out, yeah. Yeah, I was not freaking out and I was still keeping it. Um, I tried to, to fight through it, you know. Mm. And, but at the other side, they then, then didn't... Um, they sent me home with this and with this th they gave you yeah. some stuff yeah so they took blood and the blood test said it is a uh, it is dengue fever hmm. they showed me a number and this number was the indicator yeah um, and then yeah and then they said see you later mate I should come back tomorrow. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, so and when I came back at home, I realized I cannot make the next night like this because the problem is I had to I didn't have I, I did not eat the whole day already, and I had no appetite, and I could not go out and buy food for myself because I was not able to ride a scooter and I cannot order every time a Gojek or whatever I could but um, I think um, when you come into a hospital and I didn't feel safe at home that was the big deal and the fever cramps I was scared to get the same fever cramps again the whole night and no one is there and yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then I decided to go to the little bit more expensive um, hospital, hospital, which is this one here. Yeah. And they put you in this room. Yeah. In a private room because yeah. the other ones and were they full. They put me at once to this stuff because I was totally de dehydrated, and um, <clears throat> I think this was the most important thing for me to get a little bit more stability because mm. I was always shaky and. Dehydrated, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the second day I'm here, I could start eating again. So I couldn't eat the first morning, and but I could start slowly eat and at first start with the soup and then slowly go up. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm back to chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Um, okay, how is the all the the all over experience in that hospital in general? Um, from a Westerner point or from a expectation point, you're in Bali. Well, both. You were Westerner, so you have basically your own ex Westerner is of expectations. But I don't know. Do they speak English? Do they understand you? How's the communication between you and them, and between them? Um, it's actually good. Um, yeah, I cannot really say something bad about it. Cool. Um, let's we wait for the tea still. So. We're still waiting for the tea, which has been ordered what yeah. forty-five minutes ago. <laughs> and this is the second time I wait for the tea. That's why I <laughs> want to mention this. So if you have extra extra wish, um, they will not run at once to give you this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about dengue in general? What can you tell us about dengue? Like, you can have it twice before you die, is that correct? Mm, I don't... Um, I just... I read about dengue the day when it started. Yeah. And I realized, oh yeah, the symptoms is that... I was reading Ah, yeah, headache. Yeah, I have a headache. Back pain or muscle pain or um, bone pain. Yes, it's there. So I realized everything that dengue is 
the symptoms, they were all here, and I was thinking, okay. I had also this this feeling in my stomach that it's dengue from the first moment um, because I I had a few fever here in Bali already, but it was nothing like that. So yeah. Some people reported they have got their organs start bleeding. Yeah. You didn't have any like that. No, um, this happens usually after a while. So if you're not at once in the hospital, for example, and yeah. If you don't get treatment, that happens. Yeah. So it depends how fast you treat, how fast you get a good treatment. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. And how how fit you are. I think it also it depends on your own healthy stability of your immune system and all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Peace out. <laughs> um, so I, I've been in here for about an hour. I think the sound is pretty bad and I'm just gonna wait until I get out of this elevator. Yay! So I've been in there for about an hour and we've been waiting for the tea for about an hour. I've asked again and they called randomly the kitchen like 500 times and the tea didn't show up so we just leave him in the hope the tea will come soon and the papaya leaves will arrive tomorrow morning and then we hope he will get better. Hey, so basically just want to quickly tell you um, a bit more about dengue. So if you're sick, so right, let me just put my can somewhere. So basically, if you're sick with dengue, you should take acetaminophen, I'll blend it in right here, or paracetamol to control fever and relieve pain, plenty of rest, drink fluids to prevent dehydration. During the first week of infection, a dengue virus can be found in your blood. Rest in a screen or air conditioned room or under a bed net while you have a fever. So basically, that's it. That's, that's all you can do. Uh, how can you avoid dengue fever? Let me tell you this right now. So basically, <laughs> this is just common sense what they say here. Um, stay in an air conditioned or well screened housing. Wear protective clothing and use mosquito repellent and reduce mosquito habitat. So that's not really helping, is it? But hey, I, I should actually show you what we've got at home because that's actually pretty sweet because you don't want to breathe in all that mozzy spray when you go to bed and stuff. So I bought these for the house. You just plug it in. In the... Plug it in the plug. Ha! What is charging? I'm going somewhere so I need to charge my stuff. So basically you just plug it in and it's got some, some something small in here so you can exchange it. I'm going to show you now how that looks like when well, that's empty. These ones. Those thingies, you just chip in it, put into that thing, and that keeps them away as well as those ones. They're empty. Damn, I can't show you. Do you have a full of those ones? No, nobody's listening here. That's okay. But, anyways, um, we see. All sorts of stuff, not what I need right now. Um, so basically, those ones you can buy in PP2 as well. Um, you put like a little liquid bottle of liquid in here and then put it into the socket, and it prevents mosquitoes from coming in your room or from biting you or whatever. So, good luck if you are. Um, oh, okay, so the second time. 
thing I want to talk to you about the second time when you get infected with dengue because that's apparently not so funny So that's okay. So when you're infected with dengue the first time, it's not too bad. So you're just hanging out like Tristan does. But when dengue strikes twice, they come down with dengue, hemor, hem, hemor, whatever, fever, and suffer massive internal bleeding and liver damage. So that's pretty scary. Oddly, the virus causing dengue fever comes in four strains and immunity to one seems to make infection by a second strain more dangerous so pretty much take the first dengue dengue infection as a warning if it hits you a second time you're pretty much fucked <laughs> i wish i could tell you something better but i just can't that's it for today um peace out take care and i don't know Leave a comment below, say hello Tristan or whatever and I'll speak to you soon. Peace out.